Ninja One and the Biafra. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever you are, POV family. Welcome back to our channel. It's your one and only Ada Biafra. Thank you, my people, to all of you that have been following me up on this channel. Thanks to all of you that have subscribed and thank you all of you that have been sharing our videos. And for you that have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to put your bell icon on to get notification whenever I post videos so that you can check it out. Thank you, my people. Don't forget to share, don't stop sharing, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to all of you and may God bless all of us. So today, my people will be talking about new Fulani International Passport and in US banning Nigeria from entering their country yes you know people whenever we talk about uh, corrupt leaders bad leaders some nigerians will start attacking us telling us to stop uh, posting fake news or we should stop uh, our propaganda mm. you see those people are not with their right senses they are under a spell because those are the ones the politicians always call to come campaign for them that money they always give them they don't know where they have taken those monies to that that money to all the money they always give them they don't know where they have taken it to they will take it cage their spirit for them not to know their rights Hmm? That is why when you talk about bad leaders, corrupt leaders, they will stop. Somebody will from nowhere start attacking you. Hmm? The problem is not the leaders, it's the citizens. The leaders are trying. What are they doing? You that is saying that they are trying, what are they doing for you? Or what have they done for you? Hmm? The leaders are trying. What have they done for you? Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> So, U.S. have banned Nigerians from entering their country. This one now, it's not only the citizens, but the politicians. Hmm? You know, when people were like, oh, what is our business? If it's that, now all of us will run to U.S. After all, we have a U.S. citizenship. Whether valid, no, not valid visa, you can't enter U.S. As of now, both politicians, both ordinary citizens, you can enter U.S. And God bless America. God bless Donald Trump for that. These people created problem for the citizens. Now they want to run to U.S. for protection. They want to run to U.S. for refuge so that the citizens will die. At the end of the day, they will still come back and continue where they stopped. No, they will remain in that country and face the problem they created. All of them were there when they talked about, when they brought up this Eruga thing up. They said nothing. In their mind, after all, we we'll take our money, run to U.S. or any country of their choice. For U.S. now, except other countries will accept you people. How wish other countries will also ban you people from entering their country? So that you people will stay in that Nigeria and dance that tune, that drum you people have been beating. Hmm? You people will remain in Nigeria and dance to it. You can't create problems for ordinary citizens and think you can run to U.S. or other country for protection. No! All of you remain there and face it. I saw a post that Tinubu was among those that, you know, brought up a Ruga thing up. For their selfish interest. Ojo Zokano, that one is trying to cover up the money he loaded during his uh, time. Eh? For EFCC not to come after not to come after him. For DSS not to come after him. He's saying that he created Ruga during his tenure. 2001. My own Abia state. You created Ruga. You also a cow seller. God will punish you. Hmm? God will punish you because you did nothing when you were governor. Now their state. It's Ruga. That's a, it was Ruga that you created for in Abia State during your tenure. Hmm? You did nothing in Abia State. That's why Abia State is the way it is today. You did nothing. What your brother Theodore? You people did nothing. Or just or can have different to say that uh, if uh, if you don't explain to people, they don't know what uh, they won't know what Ruga is. They uh, hear about uh, the thing that is coming to kill that Ruga settlement is to come and kill everyone. That they should explain to people what Ruga settlement is. Not just okay, you know what Ruga settlement is. Abby? All those things he's saying. He know that what, uh, what the things he's saying is not right though. Hmm? But he's trying to cover up the money he loaded during his time. So that Buari, the Jubri and the Kabas won't remember him. Like they remember the Grausa. That is what he's trying to cover up. Hmm? No, don't worry. These people are saying all these things because none of their loved ones, none of their relations, none of their family members have been victim of Fulani hates men. I will not say that Fulani hates men will attack them. Fulani hates men will attack their families, their loved ones, their relations, so that they will be alive, feel this pain that many people have felt. Those people that have lost their family members, their loved ones, their wives, their daughters, their children, their husband. Those pain they felt, all of them will be alive. To feel all those pains. 
their family members, their loved ones, their wives, their children will be victim of Fulani headsmen. How I wish they would set up this Ruga settlement, some places, so that all those ones that don't care about the innocent souls that Fulani headsmen have been killing will have a taste of it. You people uh, uh, brought up a Ruga settlement up. You people brought it up and now want to run to U.S. for protection. You people are running to nowhere. You will remain in that country and fix your Ruga settlement uh, uh, district, budget or whatever you people call it. What is Ruga settlement self? Hmm? Osibanjo went to U.S. and lied to uh, uh, vice president and U.S. Uh, president that uh, what is happening in Nigeria is a uh, Fulani and farmers clash. Hmm? Fought. World terror group is in Nigeria. I don't know the number, Fulani, uh, Boko people. I, and I don't know their number, but Fort is a Fulani headsman. Hmm? You told the US vice president and US president that it's workers, uh, farmers, and the Fulani headsmen clash. Really? U.S. now have replied to you people, telling you people that they know what is happening in your country by banning all of you from entering their country so that you people will not so import full any people to their country. Yes. Donald Trump is a full Christian. Likewise, the vice. Osibanjo, if you are a real man of God, if you are really worshipping God, if you are a servant of God, most high, no matter what, you will condemn the killings of the Christians as far as you are a pastor, a real pastor. But no, because you're an Iran boy, that is why you are not saying anything. You went there and lied to them. Now they have replied to you people. Whether valid, no, no valid visa, you are not allowed to enter U.S. That that is fine now, as far as Donald Trump is concerned. Hmm? So now, another one is uh, what Nigerian fighters. I'm proud of my country, no matter what. Those people that are not with their right senses, so they are under despair. Those people that always attack us. Stop posting fake news. Stop propaganda. Hmm? Those ones are the ones that have taken money for campaign, for rally, during the election time from politicians. So they are under despair. They are not with their clear eyes. Instead of these people to support what you're saying, instead of these people to support the truth, they will be against you. They will be fighting you. Hmm? They will be supporting the politicians that is killing them, that is uh, suffering them, humiliating them. <laughs> yeah. Eh? It's very clear now that they are not with their right senses. Yes. When during election, they will starve you people. Deny you work, deny you everything. Or during election time, they will call you. Come and take money. Campaign for me. That money, you don't know where they have taken it to. You will take. They will cage you more. You will no longer, you will not know your right. These are the people that always attack, attack us. Or attack anybody that is saying the truth. You know, our leader said it, Mazen Amdi Khan said it, that he will finish zoo with the truth. Not allegation. He's not accusing them of anything. He's not accusing them of what they did not do. He, he's finishing them with the truth. What is in their constitution? That is what he's using to finish them. Yes. When they will go to U.S., copy what is in their constitution, knowing fully well that they can't obey those rules, they will come and paste it in their own. They will go to UK, they will copy what is there and paste it in their own. Nigeria is a lawless country. All the politicians believe that they are above the law. Anybody in that country that is uh, any, in any position, so far as, so far as you are a politician, you are above the law. That is what they believe. That is why a senior to have the right to go to uh, 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 adult uh, 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 shop, a adult toy shop, I don't know the one it is, beat up a woman or a lady. Without knowing if that lady is a married woman or a mother, he beat up that woman because the lady said, Oh, God, take it easy. He beat up that woman. He was even, you know, he, was, he didn't show any remorse. He didn't show that he, he, he was sorry. He just said he's sorry because they maybe they told him to come and say sorry. All the politicians in Nigeria believe that they are above the law. That is why I said Nigeria is a lawless country. Our Ebony demands and Nam Khan is finishing them up with what is in their constitution. He said it that he will after dealing with the zoo. Yeah. They will regret copying what is in another people's uh, constitution. Yes. Now 
they have a Fulani headsman on the international passport or in the international passport. Although many people say that it's not only Fulani people, other tribes are there too. So why would the fourth word for terror picture be on the on the distant front? Your green passport, if you bring it at that, immediately you bring out or you brought out that international passport, you become a suspect immediately. Talk more of when you bring out uh, when you brought out your this thing, uh, international passport that, con that has a full and hits me on it. What would people think? Eh? I hope people are still proud of your country. So you people said nothing is happening. Nobody has uh, any plan to Islamize Nigeria. We agree with you people. What is our business? What is our own? We're only enlightening you people. You know what? You're keeping it real. Uh -huh. That is what that girl always say. Hmm? We are telling you people what is happening. If you like, agree. If you don't like, don't agree. Our able leader said that what do that thing there in Asorok is not Buari. That is Jibri. All of you say, hey, he's mad. He don't know what he's saying. So now the question is, why was Aisha crying when he, when she came back from Saudi Arabia? Why was she crying? Okay, she likes crying. She just came back from Saudi Arabia and started crying. Ah. I didn't know that she likes crying. No. Aisha herself knows that that thing in Nazarok is not her husband. She has tried many times to let you people know. But you people are too blind. You people are too deaf. You people don't want to understand. You people don't want to hear what she has been trying to tell you. Okay, you people want her to come out openly like this and say, ah, that man in Nasarok is not my husband so that they will kill her. I mean, she don't want to die. She wants to be alive and enjoy the money that they are paying her and the one that her husband looked at when he was alive. Yes. She has been trying to tell you people indirectly that that thing in Nasarok is not her husband so that you people will stand up. But no. Because she has not come out openly and say, that thing in Nasarok is not my husband. When she came back and started crying, they told her, you better stop crying. You, know? hmm? you want to spoil our plant? Eh? Your husband is still alive. Just take that. I, uh, Buari's daughter, what is her name, self? They always you know, fight for her father on Instagram, Twitter. Where is she? Since they have been saying, since our able leader have been telling them that that thing in Asorok is not her, uh, is not Buari, or it's not her father. Have she come out on Twitter or Instagram to defend her father? No. When everyone was criticizing Buari when he was alive, hmm, she always, you know, fight for her father. But now, she, the uh, daughter, the son, no one is saying anything. Aisha Buari have tried her best in letting you people know that that thing in Asarok is not her husband. But you people don't want to understand. You people don't want to hear or listen. So now, for you people to know that these people have agenda of Islamizing Nigeria, that is why they put a full and me on the top of the, the state, front of the international passport. Hmm? So it's not your business to know what to do. Hmm? So the politicians that create the problem are no longer allowed to enter U.S. for protection. They will remain in Nigeria with you people and face the problem they created. I saw a picture, I saw a post saying that uh, Tunibu was among those that, uh, you know, brought uh, this Ruga settlement of a thing up. Hmm? I'm really happy now. It's no longer about the citizens. The left, they're less privileged. Those that have nobody to speak for them. It concerns both the politicians. They can run to UK. Even UK self have warned their citizens about Nigeria. The word for terror group is in Nigeria. So they should know how to travel. Or they should not even travel to Nigeria. I'm sure other people, other countries, I wish other countries will follow Trump and ban Jew people. Especially the politicians. Mm? After forcing us to run out of your country. After forcing us out of Nigeria. You people, they, want, they created problem for them, those that are still there. They don't want to run out. No, they will remain there and fix the, what, the problem they created. They are running to nowhere. God bless Trump again. God bless America again. Hmm? I wish other countries would join. International passport with full and hates men on the first page. Hmm? One Nigerian fighters. 
I'm proud of one said it here. I'm proud of my country no matter what. Who said you shouldn't be proud of your country? Be proud of your country. Nobody said you should not be proud of your country. Be also proud of your country. Now they have used the hurt me as the first picture on the international passport. Since they said that they, they are other tribes. They should not include also. Should uh, take picture of those Ohanes and Doshi and the Eastern Long Truth governors. Yes. They should take their picture and leave our uh, uh, destiny alone. So my people, that is it for today. The US banned Nigerians, both politicians, both ordinary citizens, both those that uh, uh, have, have, that doesn't have land in what is happening in Nigeria from entering their country. Yes, because Susibanja went there and lied to them. Mm -hmm. Another thing, because they have full and men on their international passport. Yes. I hope one Nigerian people, one Nigerian uh, fighters, hmm, they will be proud of that international passport. They will say that uh, it, it's not the politicians are not the ones committing the crime or the politicians are not the ones tarnishing Nigerian's image. Who are the people tarnishing Nigerian image? If not the politicians. Oh, it's, you think it's ordinary citizens that travel out? Really? The world knows uh, the people tarnishing Nigerian image. The word not. Yes, it's you people, you people that have been caged, you people that have been blinded by all those evil money you collected, or those uh, politicians say evil money. These are the people that always believe that these ordinary citizens are astonishing Nigerians' image. Hmm? God bless America again. Our apple leader will continue. Destroying the zoo with the truth. Hmm? He will cripple all of you with the truth. Yes. Next time he's doing live broadcast, don't forget to take your pen and paper. Start writing down. Because where he found those things, you won't be able to get there. Hmm? There's, there's those things they hear, those truths, they think that they have covered up forever that nobody will find. Our uh, able leader found it where they hid it. He went where they hid it and dug it out. They are surprised. That is why they are scared of him. So that is why you always say, whenever he's in a, a, a broadcast, come with pen and paper so that you'll be writing those things down. You won't be able to get where he, he, he got those things from. Him. You won't be able to make your research to those places. Hmm? They denied us history. They don't want us to know uh, our history. Hmm? So don't forget to always come with pen and paper. Even some of the politicians don't listen to him. Because many of them don't know what is happening. They don't know what is in their constitution. Many people don't know what is in their constitution. Many things he do say or he do talk about, many of them don't know about it. And you say that we are not blessed. And you say that we are not special. You say that we don't know what we are doing. Or we should stop following him. Now nah, you lie. We will continue following him. Hmm? Because there is no leader like him. Hmm? There is no leader like him as a name they can. If you like, continue fooling yourself. If you like, continue being blind. Hmm? Continue being in the cage of those uh, corrupt leaders. Because of the change they always give you people. Don't support the truth. Continue attacking those saying the truth. And continue supporting those killing you. Suffering you. Denying you work, job, school, good hospital, good road, electricity. Hmm? Continue supporting them. What's our business? At least we'll have a leader that will speak for us. We'll have a leader that will always speak for all of us. Which is Mazin Nam the Khan. Hmm? God will bless him. 200 billion times. Let me say, let me not say. Thousand, billion, trillion. God will bless him. Bless his deputy Mazu Chemi for. Bless be from families all over the world. And lovers of freedom. He said, he said, he said. 
Thank you, my people. I'm a Chukuka, I bless all of us. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put your bell icon on. Thank you, my people. And may God bless all of us. We say, we say.